Yo, what's up folks? Today uh, we are going to be doing a how to uh, remove the stock filter or air cleaner. There's a right now. And we're going to be installing a different air cleaner, which should breathe a little easier. So if you guys have kept up with the channel at all, you know I've gone through my fair share of air cleaners. So, um, I mean, the, the taking this off is gonna be pretty much the same for everybody. Uh, if you have an Iron 883. Um, Installing the air cleaner is going to be a little different depending on which one you get and which kind of breather system you go with So this is going to be very specific for like my bike Especially because my jugs don't line up with the breather bolts and the backing plates So I had to kind of set up my own thing. We'll get to that whenever we get there. So let's go ahead and start uh, Taking the old one off All right, so to get started and taking this one off uh, You're gonna use a either allen key or a hex bit socket uh, You're gonna take these two bolts out um, Which is gonna draw off this little front face plate here and uh, it's going to loosen this top part you'll be able to pull it out. After that you've got these Torx bolts. So you're going to get a Torx bit. All right so these are <clears throat> T25 Torx bits so let's go ahead and take those out. That's gonna pull off just like that. Now those screws are not retained. They do come out if you press them through. I just didn't pull them out all the way. So. At this point, you're gonna to need to take out the breather bolts, which are here and here, which requires a socket. Traditionally, you wanna get a deeper socket. I was able to make this one work. All right, that entire piece comes off just like that. At this point, all you have left is the little bracket piece right here. That is going to be a Allen key or a hex bit as well. All right, so it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, at this point, go ahead and clean up all of this stuff. There'll probably be some oil, some blow by, like in these. So yeah, clean all that up. And uh, I put back the, uh, the stock air cleaner all back together like this. Yeah, so if you guys go ahead and put everything back together, um, put those bolts back in, you should be able to kind of uh, just keep it all together and in one piece, oh. And you will need this little piece right here to go ahead and take that off. Your new air cleaner might come with it. If not, it's still nice to, to have them. Don't rip it or anything. It's basically a uh, like a gasket that'll go in between the, uh, the throttle body, between the air cleaner, so you know no air seeps in. All right, so I've got that all cleaned up. Wipe down, making sure there's nothing in there. Oil's all cleaned up and we're ready to go ahead and install the new air cleaner. So this is where it's going to pretty much divert paths depending on which air cleaner system you've got. I've got kind of a hybrid uh, weird thing that I put together. I've got this air cleaner, which says figure machine, bought it off of eBay, uh, which has a solid backing plate. Um, but then I also have a bracket from DK Customs. I also previously had the external breather bolts from DK Customs, but those were uh, putting a lot of blow by on the side of the bike. We get on the exhaust here and the oil tank there. So I'm uh, going with a different external breather system, which is the hoses and the filter. So that should keep that from happening. Like I said, depending on which uh, air cleaner system you've gotten, just follow the instructions from there and install yours how it says it should be installed. I've gotten you this far. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to, how I install mine. So where this bracket is, there's gonna be a little hole. Uh, a lot of places will give you a little screw or bolt to go in there just to kind of fill it in, snug it down. So at this point, whatever kit you got should have a bracket that's gonna go here. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have your gaskets. Um, some require one gasket on one side, some require a gasket on both sides. The one I have requires it on both sides. So gasket there, gasket there. And that's the one you pulled off your old intake. There also needs to be a couple of washers in between here to fill up that gap, spacers. Big factor here also, depending on what breather system you go with, uh, if you're gonna have your breather bolts basically coming out of here, they might go back into the air cleaner. So yeah, I'm basically gonna have, basically gonna lose stuff. Gonna have washer and then bracket, and then I'm gonna insert that, so. All right, so the breather bolts are in. Um, at this point, you're not really gonna like tighten anything down. Just kind of hand tighten it. Make sure everything's lined up here, here, here. Point we're gonna put on the backing plate for the new one. Should line up. All right, at this point, all those lined up. Backing plate has been put on. 
I'm gonna worry about these in a little bit because these are like keys for the breather bolts because this backing plate is designed for the blow by to go back in, but I'm routing it externally. So I'm gonna have to find some bolts, basically plug that up like I just had it, but they're a little shorter because I need clearance there. So, like I said, at this point, um, you can probably go ahead and snug these down and you're going to put your filter on there and then you're going to put the faceplate over it. All right, you can go ahead and uh, get that faceplate on there. Now, on these screws and bolts, you should definitely be using uh, Loctite. Learn from my past mistake. I've got a video where a previous filter fell off. So, uh, you know, just a little drop of blue Loctite on these. All right, so we're gonna add the hoses and the clamps to the external breather system. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, went ahead and ran the hoses, put the clamps on, ran it up to the filter way <laughs> up here. That would be ridiculous. Now, you definitely have to trim the hoses. Let's have it set like kind of right here. Go ahead and trim those off. <laughs> all right, at this point we've got the all right, at this point, we've got the tubes trimmed up. Things kind of uh, angled correctly. No kinks, really. I don't really have anything snug down at the moment. But uh, at this point, whatever filter you're installing, if it's just the filter and not an external breather system, you can go ahead and snug everything down. If you have torque specs, look at torque specs. Yeah, and like I said, just make sure you use Loctite because uh, this is right on the side of the engine. It's going to shake. So be sure to use Loctite in any bolts. In these, there's the three in there. Use Loctite on those. At that point, you're uh, you're good to go. Air cleaner installed. If you have um, haven't looked into a fuel management system yet, I would recommend going and uh, looking at that. If you have an exhaust, air cleaner, and a fuel management system, then congratulations, you've got a stage one kit. All said and done. So, hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, post them up in the comments below and I'll uh, answer them to the best of my knowledge. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button down there. Subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe, stay vigilant, and I will catch you all later. Deuces.